Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today. I'm glad to have you back here on my channel. Let's dive into details regarding the price reduction in Europe because there are some very interesting things happening here and they are connected as well with Giga Shanghai and the capacity they have for certain models over there. We're going to look into some stats from Troy Tesla, which prove that there is some reason why in Germany, especially the price of the Model Y standard range was reduced by such a big margin. And this wasn't only in Germany, but as well in other countries like Norway, Netherlands, France and so on. But first of all, for German customers, and I cannot speak for any other customers in other countries, please share your experience. For all open reservations, um, people are receiving updates in 48 hours. Now, as we have the price reduction already being gone for 24 hours, I expect updates to happen on Sunday or latest Monday. So everyone that has a price and an open reservation, they will get compensation and the current pricing. Very important for people that receive their car by the end of the year with the price reduction, they are not getting any compensation. So it's only for people that have open reservation. Let's look into Germany, United States and China. And if you look into the Model Y standard range with down by 17%, as I mentioned yesterday, the United States, you guys don't have any Model Y standard range yet. And then the Chinese market down by 10%. Now, why is that happening that in Europe, not only in Germany, the Model Y standard range is going that low? There's a major reason behind that, because many people forget that actually Tesla is producing in China for Chinese customers when it comes to the Model Y, mainly the standard range variant. Many people buy that variant because the long range and performance is way too expensive for many. And in Europe, we have strong demand for performance and long range, as we know from Giga Shanghai. But right now, Tesla's, Tesla is actually only sending 6,000 cars per quarter with a Model Y standard range to Europe. On the other hand, Tesla has 79,000 cars being produced for the Chinese market, so they have a huge capacity. So Tesla is actually doing what they have to do. They want to keep that capacity, so they're reducing prices in Europe. They are flooding the market with cars they are actually already producing in China. And this makes a lot of sense. That is a good way to do that. You have a very high capacity, you fulfill the capacity, you work at max capacity, and you make a lot of money because you're not reducing the production here. There is also some reasons why Tesla is in general um, lowering the prices and many people forget about the fact that we still have not efficiency yet in Austin and Giga Berlin. Those two factories will um, reduce costs, costs this year by a lot because last year they were not making money yet. So the effect of Giga Berlin and Giga Austin will play in in 2023. So Tesla has reduced cost. Furthermore, they are putting out some very nice outputs. Say they're going to reach 2 million cars and more this year. So even Kathy Wood is talking about that. If you double production, if you double output, you are reducing the prices for batteries as well. You are getting more batteries from suppliers. You can reduce the prices. You produce your own batteries. And with that, Tesla can react to current situations. So I'm not saying that Tesla is so nice and give, gives money away to customers only because they are uh, reducing cost. I think that is marketing here. They do that very smartly, but they also know that there is a lot of issues. Um, we have, for example, in Europe, many people still waiting for the issue with the sensors. When you're going for parking sensors, we still have no sign recognition working properly. So there are a lot of people that say, well, the price reduction is very nice. I would like to order, but these things that have to work. And Tesla knows that, and they try to go with the pricing here. So Tesla is using this situation, the economic downturn in China, the um, current pricing that was very high um, to create new demand. And that is the way they can do that. They can do that because they have pricing power by reduced cost. And this is because Tesla is scaling production. They're doing their own batteries in parts, not all of them, of course. And they are also being more efficient in Giga Berlin and Austin with rising production over there. The cost in general is reduced. So Tesla is working more efficiently. And we all know 
Tesla was already at that pricing before in 2021 if we look into the states. So Tesla is doing a very good job in coming back to those prices and fighting on the other hand all the other car makers that always find excuses why they cannot lower prices instead of increasing prices. So there are many people out there that believe that actually the gross margin that we have seen before could reach again 25% because of, as I mentioned, Giga Berlin and Texas scaling um, in a proper way and reduced cost when it comes to batteries, reduced cost in general. So Tesla is working very well with that. We look into the states here, we see as well um, the competition. So other models out there, VW, Hyundai and Ford, for example, and we have as well Kia. And T Tesla is actually very well positioned here um, I don't think they have to be the lowest price model. I don't think Tesla needs to be that because the brand is so strong. But you clearly see that they are competing with ID4 and the Ford Mac E. But again, I believe even with the after EV credit pricing, lots of people are really going to consider a Tesla as the pricing is not so much different to a Ford Mac E standard range. Um, again, you have the long range not being far away, so more more range, a better car. Um, I'm I'm not not going to be mean to Ford, but in general, um, the Model Y is w very well positioned here. If we look to Joy Tegmeier in Austin, we have as well updates from the Giga Press, which is exciting as well because despite all the price reduction, we are still looking into a Cybertruck this year, and we see the progress is working very well over here. So Tesla is not only lowering pricing, increasing production, increasing battery production in Lathrop and hopefully in Austin. We don't have any information yet how big that production is. No, they're also moving forward, building the Cybertruck. And we have also had news in the past days about the Tesla Semi, which will be produced by a lot this year as well. And of course, based on the price reduction, we have many discussions online. Should you buy an ID4 or a Model Y? And there is a lot of comparison out there. And the search volume for the Model Y has increased by a lot in the United States. The same is not being seen yet in Europe um, because we don't have any actual data yet. But I ex expect that to happen very soon as well. So Tesla is doing everything in the right way. They are pushing forward um, with price reduction to gain even more market share, which is not as high in Europe as in the States. But in Europe, we have so many brands and this is actually a shocker for those brands. Stock prices were down yesterday for German car makers, as I mentioned. So it's going to be a very interesting year, guys. Please let me know what you think about that. Would you order a Tesla right now or not? Um, please share your opinion. Thank you very much for being here today. I